hello YouTube world or Facebook world or internet world in general um, today we're going up the Watkin path uh, the Watkins path on Snowden I've never done this path before so um, hopefully uh, it'll be a good path I've done pretty much all the other paths in all the different weather conditions you can think of um, but never this one and the weather is all right as we speak it's probably going to change as we get higher up the mountain uh, so yeah I'll be keeping you up to date as we head on up the mountain it's Wales's highest peak for those that don't know I'm not gonna give you all the information of the details of exactly how high it is because I've done no research and I can't remember off the top of my head uh, but there we go there's a welcome to this little hiking adventure up Snowdon. I'm on this adventure with my brother Owen and his friend Kirsty and they've just gone out of shot because I've hung back to do a bit of footage but um, I can see them just around this bend. I'll zoom in. There we go, that's Owen and Kirsty and we're meeting up with another of Owen's friends en route who's already up there apparently taking some pictures. Uh, so already uh, a lovely scenic start. I'm a little worried because I injured my leg a couple of days ago running my left calf and it's been in a lot of pain since and I've been doing a lot to it. A lot of deep heat and then the cold and then the deep heat and then the cold. It's a lot better than it was but probably going to be very sore by the end of today. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Uh, so we've been on this track for about 10-15 minutes and it's quite a unique track. It's very different to any of the other paths that take you up Snowden I think because it doesn't feel like we're on a mountain hike yet. It just feels like we're walking through the woods really. Uh, so it's definitely a different experience uh, my, my leg so far only 10 15 minutes in as i say but it, it's, it's holding up all right so hopefully that'll be the story of the day this is our first real sight of of where we're going uh, at least i assume that's where we're going you can see the uh the weather certainly looks a little different higher up uh it looks a bit overcast but that's a good thing uh, not worrying about sunburn or anything we're still pretty warm it's about 18 degrees it'll get a bit cooler as we get higher but uh, so far so good what we have there ladies and gentlemen is some live streaming right here on my youtube because i'm live at the stream for anyone down there didn't get the reference we have reached the first real incline now i'd say we're about 25 30 minutes in at this point so up and down total is seven hours today there or thereabouts um, so yeah there's a definite change uh, in the path right now and it's really warm it doesn't look warm but it is uh, but uh, as we were arriving I was starting to think oh maybe I'm not wearing the right the right clothes I should have gone with not full on trousers, long sleeves or something, but at the moment, shorts and t-shirt, perfect. Right, onwards and upwards. It's a guy down there that I think has just been for a swim. So I'm putting his clothes back on, getting dry. It's going all right so far. It's, it's really warm, uh, but other than that, Legs okay. Life is good. Oh, I've had to take my hat off because it is really hot. And my glasses are steaming up, so I don't know how long they're going to stay on either. Uh, I don't know if you can see just up there. There is a woman running. You probably can't see her on the video right now. Uh, but we're going to come down that route. Um, so I'm just going to show you the route we're walking up now. Hold on. This is the route we're currently on. So it's flattened off, it's leveled off for a bit, so that's good. Then we'll go up, and then when we come down, we'll come down that way. 
Joe Owen tells me. And there's the other two. I think we've been going for just under an hour now. There's a nice breeze on this part, but I feel we haven't really made a lot of progress upwards for quite a while. It's just been a long fire section. It's starting to uh, become a bit of an incline now, but it's, it's quite steady. But I feel at some point it's going to get very steep. Some nice, um, nice scenery right now, though. You can see the top of the, the mountain there, the clouds coming down. Looks pretty cool. Easy. But this bit is probably the first real challenge of the day. It goes on a while. It's very steep. And every time you think you've reached the end, you're just like, oh great, more steps to climb. And because uh, my because my calf issue, I'm having to sort of sidestep on my left leg. Because uh, that's the only way I can sort of do it and it not hurt lots. So, uh, at least I found a technique. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, he's just there. I guess he's just ahead. And uh, we've got a friend waiting for us sort of halfway up this bit as well, so I'm sure we'll encounter him soon. Oh, it's certainly getting a lot cooler now. There is a, a cool wind blowing. I think that's where we're heading. I'm a bit confused because I've not been up this path before. I don't really fully understand where I am. But I know I'm on this path. And it goes on a while. We just stopped for a quick snack. And uh, just to take the bag off for a bit. It's a bit heavy. Still, quite a distance to go. Just a bit of signal at this point, so that was good. Some text messages came through. I think I'll have to tag in on Facebook. Because you know, I've had more problems before struggling on no internet access. Had <sighs> some Welsh cakes there to power me on. It's quite a popular little resting point, actually. There's quite a few people there. Anyway, less of a rambling of the rambling because I shouldn't be rambling on but I should be rambling on there we go well this just feels relentless now every time we come around a corner it's just like oh more steps to go up never seemingly reaching the end but we will get there eventually We are still plowing on. We are closer to the top, but there's still a long way to go. Thanks. Well, we have reached a nice viewing point. So, normally, that down there is one of the routes that I would, I would take. I think that's part of the miners track. Uh, so, we are literally walking up the other side of the mountain. So it's cool to, to see a different path. And as a path, it's not a bad path so far, but I think it's about to get a lot steeper as we uh, approach the summit. But um, yeah, nice little rest. My leg is very sore right now, but I will carry on regardless. And uh, we've got uh, a friend now that's been up taking pictures earlier. That's uh, Paul over there in the distance. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's carry on. And this is where we're carrying on to. This is the next part of the hike. And then at some point we're gonna have to go up because I'm pretty sure that that is where we're going. I think that is the, the summit up in the clouds. Uh, as I say, I'm a bit confused because I've never seen it from this angle before, but I'm excited to have it uh, revealed to me. Every time it seems, oh, well, you know, we're getting nearer the top. We have these 
moments, so it's got a bit windy. We have moments like this where it dips down again. So we've got to dip down and then go up and then dip down and then go up. It's just it's like a, a bit of a roller coaster ride, really. But you can see now we're getting closer to that cloud and it's it's moving pretty quick. And the wind is just coming in in quick bursts and then it's dropping, quick bursts and it's dropping. Here's another burst of wind right now. It's quite nice when it comes out. There's been a couple of situations in the past few ten minutes where the path hasn't actually been clear. As it is looked like, oh, cranky. <laughs> look like you could go one of two or even three ways at times but we seem to be on the right path get ever closer this route looks like it's getting uh, increasingly less enjoyable <laughs> that looks uh, like a bit of a challenge but at least it's clear at the moment so it stays clear Definitely the closer we get, the, the steeper it starts to look. <laughs> the less appealing it gets with every step. Oh my word. The camera doesn't really do justice to how steep that is. Oh, all to how steep that is. Hey, hey, hey. Let's keep going. Out to the wind, it's a different story.
trying to get up the top. I took a selfie. It's so windy up there. It doesn't seem so bad coming down this side, but standing up there, I was scared my phone was going to blow away. Oh my word. But we can go inside now. the world here the wind is just non-existent on this side it's calm you can see down uh, it's much more enjoyable okay. right. it's crazy that it? literally just on the other side of that blow in a gale and then on this side Ah, oh, it's nice and peaceful. I can actually hear myself think. Oh. The wind is back. Not protected here. But when the wind drops, it's great. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, but the train just um, blew its whistle. And I can hear it chugging. I don't think you'll be able to pick that up on the camera. So it's a bit crazy to me that there's a train that comes up here because you know there's so many people at the top and a lot of them will have hiked up there up the different routes but a lot of them will have come up on the train uh, which it's just crazy to think you can get to the top of a mountain and you know there's a proper toilet in there you can get a cup of tea uh, you get some food like in the past i've bought some socks when i've had a wet socks uh, so it's just pretty cool and unique to snowden as well um pretty high right now. I don't know if you can see down there. They said it doesn't look on the camera, but that is very steep. Uh, it kind of just goes straight down, but I don't think it looks good on the camera, so you can't see. Just have to take my word for it, won't you? Uh, I can definitely hear that train as well. I don't know if you can hear it. It's definitely there in the background. So yeah, I mean, just crazy to think all those people at the top of the mountain um you know where else do you get to see that really i mean you, you see the pictures of, of everest but that's a different thing people uh, waiting queuing to get to the summit it's not quite everest is it but uh for a, you know for an average joe hiker like myself uh and i've been up snowden a lot at different times of day uh, but i've never seen it as busy at the top uh, I've always been able to at least go into the cafe when it's open uh, and like find somewhere to sit but getting in just to use the toilet was I was like it's just like sardines but uh, this is a nice pleasant walk down so far so I'm enjoying this 
I will definitely enjoy having my stuff to eat as well. I am a very hungry Ian right now. I need to catch it with the others. I'm very pleased that the wind has died out. to show the route we were on. And the clouds have come. We're going to go down there, it looks steep. But basically, I was about to show the camera the route that we walked up before, and now it's all covered in cloud. So we've kind of walked up one side, we've looped around, we're coming down the other side, and we're going to intersect down at the bottom. Um, and it was lovely and clear. And now it isn't. I'll let it pass. If it passes, I'll be able to get the camera out. But we're about to move on. We've just stopped for some food, mostly because I requested it. I was hungry. Uh, but yeah, we are about to continue our descent. That way, the clouds moved a little. I can show you a little bit of the path, I think. So that down there is part of the path that we walked up. And we'll join back down there. We've got a traverse all of this first. And I seem to have ended up off the, the path because I came to take this video, so let's get back on track. This is a nice route on the whole. Tough to get up that last little bit, uh, but coming down so far has been good, but you know, we've got a long way to go before I get my uh, final opinion on things. That's a uh, Another really good angle, good shot of where we've been earlier today. Seems like a long time ago now. And uh, back to where we're going. We've reached a point where we're not actually sure where to go, but uh, I've discovered it is not this way, because look, it just goes straight down, and it's pretty much the same there. So we're looking for a way down. Paul seems to have found a way. So we're gonna. Uh, head your pets and go that way, I guess. There is a path down there, and that's what we're heading for. But how we get there, uh, nobody knows at this point. This is the way we are trying. You can see they are making, they're making a fairly successful descent down there. So I'm going to join them. I'm going to put the camera away though, because I don't want to drop it, which is something I would probably do. 
down, this is mostly okay. There was a bit where I took up down back there. But if we were doing this in reverse, coming up this side, it wouldn't have been obvious where the path was. I mean, it wasn't obvious coming down, but, uh, you know, we're plodding on. And we can see people in front and people behind, so, uh, you know, people are working it out. Now, this wasn't the dip I was expecting. Maybe that will come soon. Maybe it'll just be a nice, uh, gradual descent. That would be nice, wouldn't it? like we are now ready for our final big descent we hope and then sort of on the home street so you can see the others making their way down there and it looks like it is actually pretty steep there's a little bend coming up why does the wind pick up every time i want to talk to the camera so yeah it is very steep i'm starting on it now see there's like a little bend there when everyone else would go out of shot if I was to stay filming uh, but hopefully after that surely it can't be uh, that much more descending we've just got to sort of scamper across back to the car park after this but that could be a while something that does come to mind when we're going down all of these paths or up these paths it's that a lot of them are you know they are paths they've been made at some point the steps in place things safely bolted in at certain places so i do wonder like, how long ago these paths were made and you know how long it took and parts of the, the paths are they're just sort of they've been naturally made just by people going over them enough but some of them have been, been placed you know you don't get a step formation like this for example just naturally forming this has been placed here by somebody that meticulously taken the time at some point in history to put it all together so it's quite fascinating really when you think about it <sighs> coming down the mountain uh, getting a lot closer uh, to sort of the bottom part where we walked up from before the temperature is rising again so yeah it was cool there was a, a very cool wind higher up but that is uh, sort of leaving us now and even though it's gusting a bit down here it's not as cold as it was up there uh, so yeah I need to catch up with the others every time I film a video it puts me really far behind them but at least I can still see them in the distance I know where I'm going still got some uh, interesting little challenges to get by but hopefully after this little clamber down hopefully that's the last 
rest of the clambering. Hopefully it's just walking from that point. This bit has been another one of those, doesn't really show well on camera just how difficult it actually is. Um, it's really steep. I don't think it looks steep on the camera, but it is, and it's all loose underfoot. So it's been uh, tricky to maneuver, but I'm doing well to this point. I don't want to jinx myself, but nearly there. That's where I need to be. And I am plodding on nicely, keeping my footing. It's funny how coming down becomes kind of an anticlimax in some ways because, you know, the achievement is getting to the top. You get to the top, you get that last little burst of adrenaline because you're at the top and it's all exciting. And then you're just kind of on a downward spiral from there, really. Because there's no achievement to get to the bottom. It doesn't feel uh, exciting to get to the bottom. I mean, I will be excited when we get there because my, uh, my leg has had enough at this point. And all this going down, that's where you really hurt your toes. You, you, you fall into the front of your boots and that's where you're gonna get blisters and things. Uh, hopefully, my feet will be all right after this. But hey, I've got a week to chill in Egypt, so shouldn't really be worrying. Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit now. It did say it was gonna rain, but um, it said it was gonna rain a little later than this. I think it's around about four-ish now. Um, my app earlier said it was gonna rain a bit later, but you know, these things change all the time. Can't predict the weather. We are, uh, we've made a lot of progress since I filmed my last video at the top of there. We've still got a long way to go, but it's uh, becoming a lot more laborious at this point, I think. Just wanna to get to the end, get a cup of tea, and relax. So I think this whole time I've been saying, oh, the Watkins path, the Watkins path, and we did do the Watkins path, but I think the way down isn't the Watkins path, because obviously the Watkins path was the path that we walked on, but then we didn't come back down that way. Uh, probably for good reason, because it looked like it would have been hard to come down. Um, so I think we, we came down the South Ridge, but then I don't actually know what this path is called that we are on right now. Uh, Whatever it is officially called, I am calling it the way home right now, or at least the way to the car park, because um, that's really all it is to me. It's my way out of here. Definitely can't complain about the scenery around here. intersect back with where we were before so uh, that's where we walked along earlier so we're going to come back down to slightly uh, lower down than that and then back down the same route we traveled over from the car it's about four o'clock at the moment it just gone four so we're doing yeah we're doing well for time going down, still lots of bumps in the road, but not long to go now. It's a nice little uh, shot of where we've just been. There's some people down there, through here, to be going for a swim, um, rather them than me. I know it's been nice weather recently, but uh, it is a bit chilly around these parts.
this and down here has got a wetsuit. I think jumping in and going down, it's, it's hard to see. There's trees in the way now. I nearly fell over because I was walking backwards. Uh, I don't know what they're up to and I don't have the time to find out. We have actually made it down. I forgot to check the time before I started filming this. Um, but I think we, we did it in roughly seven hours. I think it was just under the seven hours. So, uh, pleased with that. We're all a bit tired. We need a cup of tea. We've all got slightly sore feet. Um, so yeah, there was a path I've not done before. It was enjoyable. It was tough at times. Uh, Kirsty that we were here with today we mostly came because she's going to Morocco in a few weeks and she's doing like a five day trek and it's basically four times what we just did over like a, a four or five day period. So, um, but now she's a bit worried because she's like, oh, I struggle doing that. How am I going to do that like every day continuously for a week? Uh, but she'll be fine. Uh, it's good to know sort of uh, how your feet are going to be at certain points and where you're going to need to put like things to stop blisters and stuff because you, you get certain hot spots which are going to be the same wherever you walk really uh, the walking down is particularly treacherous uh, but uh, yeah we are done and dusted I am pleased 24,000 steps is what I've done which doesn't seem like a lot to me I've, I've done that walking around a city in a day but it's the it's the type of steps that you're taking you know they're not normal steps they are mountain steps. Some easier than others. Some a lot more treacherous than others. But it's done. We can relax. And I think that's all I need to say. Uh, thank you very much, Snowden. Thank you very much, Watkins Path and South, South Ridge Path Down, whatever else path we took. Um, yeah, we came, we saw, we conquered, we left.